Hi, welcome to another video journal. This one is from a book that I made out of a dictionary page and I'm calling it the corkscrew because it has an old antique corkscrew image on it along with this wonderful bird image, a cornet, um, some beautiful pillars, flowers, and a little crown. So if you know a princess who would like this book, this is the one. And on the spine, of course, I've left the original needle marks where it was bound with thread. This, of course, was a library book that was withdrawn, so it went out of circulation. And I've detailed it with some antique paper up here. This is an old, old book page. And in here is an old invoice uh, from a general store that you can journal on, front and back. There's actually carbon in here, so I, I attached a piece of paper at the back so you could use it. I just put on a little Scrabble board piece here uh, for fun. Here's an image from an old book that I just thought was lovely. This is a great page, hand typed on a typewriter. This is the carbon copy of a story that was hand typed out. A journaling page that I've coffee dyed for you. It's a beautiful page out of a book all about roses that has lasted the test of time. The colors are quite vivid still. And as you can see, it's quite old. More journaling spots, and that's the other side of that typed story. There we go. This book is actually 80 pages. It's four signatures, so it's larger than it looks. And again, I used some old music sheets here and hand stamped some images on it and put it in this little pouch that I made out of an antique journal page mounted on an antique school book. And I've left the original staple marks in here. Just again, I think it's so endearing. This beautiful music sheet is from the 1800s. Uh, it's a little delicate, but it's spectacular. I just love the, uh, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the pencil marks. So people made their own notes in here. And here's another little music page here that I made into a corner tuck spot with an insert mounted on an old index page. And again, there's more of those invoices for you to journal on. This is a double tuck pocket. So I've got a little vintage tag here. And a beautiful image from an old book. Isn't that beautiful? And I've hand dyed a lot of the journaling pages in here to give you more spots. This is from a beautiful old book called The Silent World. It had wonderful images in it. That's an image of Jacques Cousteau. And another story page here. And another, that's the other side of that index page. And that's the other side of that really old music sheet. And I actually, there was a tear in it, so I saved it by putting in this journaling spot. And another flip out here so you can journal under there. And I've put in an old map tag there for you to journal on top of as well. And don't forget, all of these embellishments all made with antique papers. Look at this beautiful image. I just love that from that old book there. Another old book page here. This is from um, a farmer's magazine. Isn't that great? Very old. This is from a children's songbook, vintage. The great image on the back. And that's the other part of that hand-typed story. Lots of German space there. Another children's songbook page and a great vintage book used to make that tag. And there's another little secret spot here for you to put more inserts in as well. Another one of those farmer's magazine pages. Here's two journaling tags here. I've really loaded them in. One in the back and check that one right in beside it. An old, old stamp here. This is, um, an old stamp, people who would have collected stamps would have put their stamps in here. So I've tucked in a vintage stamp in there for you. And you could put a photo in there. You could do all kinds of fun things with that. And then I've mounted it so that you can use the underside as well for journaling. Old book pages, an old script from Romeo and Juliet that would have been used in the schools. Um, and I made a little pocket here out of uh, an old antique book page with a journaling tag. Romeo and Juliet, isn't that great? Uh, this is from an old bird book, Birds of the of North America. This one's from Canada, in the United States. More of that book, an old index from an old book. 
This is a wonderful page out of a book about women entering the workforce um, during the war because so many men were working for the war effort or in the war that they needed to encourage women to enter the workforce. It's a great little bit of history and I think you will really enjoy that. I know I did. It was hard for me to give those up. And there's another page out of that bird book. More of that script. And then we're at the back of the book. So uh, this is an 80-page journal, and that is going for $50. First come, first enjoy.